Hey, thank you for stopping by and checking out the How to Journal workbook. I created this workbook about three years ago when I was first starting my journaling classes and the students wanted all the information that I taught in an easy to tote around workbook and they also wanted to be able to use the prompts and the ideas on, in their own time. Perhaps always, you know, it's a good reference book. So one of the things that we address in this workbook is what kind of workbook to use. So what kind of journal is going to work best for you? I have a couple of ideas that I want to share with you right now. First is, I would recommend avoiding the really beautiful, gold leaf, you know, thick paged, stunning journal. They look fabulous when you're when you're at a bookstore or a hobby shop and they have these beautiful hardbound journal books and they are they're lovely they're thing they're things of beauty the challenge is that believe it or not the journal itself may stop you from writing because it's really hard to open up something gorgeous and beautiful and then write down all your shitty crummy ideas and write down all of your crazy stuff it's um, it's daunting that's a good word for it so don't stop yourself by by cr giving yourself something that's super daunting I would recommend either something really inexpensive like your spiral bound notebooks that you can get at Office Depot or at it or at your your school library school library or at your school bookstore that will give you space to be really really bad so that you have some freedom you have some you know you're not obligated you can rip out the pages that you don't like you can save it forever or you can do what I did with all of the journals that I wrote in um, spiral bound journals in high school I threw those away okay I recycled them I ripped them apart and recycled them you want to create or have something that you are comfortable scribbling in and that's I think for your basic journal just having something that's easy that you pull out that is that doesn't obligate you to be beautiful that's going to be more inspirational and it's going to be easier for you to write in. Then the middle ground is what I use to write in my travel journals. These I'm going to save. So they can be a little fancier, they can definitely be larger. I usually get books that can hold a postcard because I still collect postcards when I travel, mostly because usually I'm traveling on shoulder season so it's March and I'm standing in Rome and I say oh there's a beautiful fountain there's the you know there's the Vatican doesn't look like what it looks like in the postcard so I buy the postcard to remind us what it should have been like because it didn't look like that at the time in those travel journals then you want space to glue things you want space to pick up the business card from the restaurant you all loved and then make notes about that restaurant. I have found that putting information in those paper journals allows me to access information actually faster than if I had it online. Another advantage of having a, a quote hardback journal versus an online journal is that if you are in a restaurant or you are on a bus wherever you are when you're traveling train train planes automobiles when you are writing it's less I find it less obtrusive to make notes in an actual handwritten journal than it does to pull out a phone or pull out your iPad and making uh, computer notes there's something that's very different about it at some point I'll explore that and I'll bring it back to you so a little bit about journals you want to find one you're going to use you you may experiment with them so you say okay I love the spiral bound but it catches on things in my purse so now I need to find something that's a little different or you want something that's much smaller that fits in your briefcase or fits in a pocket experiment with that I think for me one of the joys is to spend half an hour in any store looking for the perfect journal and seeing what just works for me at that time so get your journal and congratulations on a hobby, on a process, 
on a practice that will enhance your, enhance your life for the rest of your life.